most people always see the first level whenever I post stories on Instagram, but this is actually the master's bedroom that we don't use. <laughs> we sleep in the guest room because this room receives a lot of sunlight and in the morning it gets really unbearable and you can't even complete your eight hours of sleep if you stay here because at 5.30 it gets intense. 5.30, 6.30 and at 8 p.m. 8 a.m. it looks like it's noontime in this room. But I've decided since it's going to be the rainy season that I am going to renovate this part of the house and create a greener, livelier space that we can all enjoy as a family. So join me and I hope this is a success. This is my first time to paint a wall all by myself. And this is also the first time that I'm going to use a drill by myself. So wish me luck. Yay! So that's a total of three coats and two hours of figuring it out. Look. The, the color I use is mangrove. They say it's mangrove. I'll show you the, the palette in this uh, segment. So it's a, it's a choice between this darker shade or the other olive grayish tone. And this is what I selected from the paint store. Yeah, so we did that so we'll go on because ito ang aming happy place. Nandito tayo bibili ng mga kailangan natin para sa wall para ididiy natin sa lahat mamaya. Okay, so ginagawa na ni Kuya kasi hindi ako marunong. Tinuturo nila sa akin kung paano ibabaray na yung shelf. Minarkahan niya muna, nilagay niya sa pader. Tapos, tuwid ba? Kuya? Nakatagilid kaya!
Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and thank you, thank you so much for the overwhelming support that you gave me through my Instagram account for my plants which is at choose to grow. So in just a mere two months, we are now 3,000 strong and counting. So thank you, thank you so much. In today's live episode on Instagram later at 12 noon today, or actually now because I'm launching it at 12 noon, I'm giving away a plant today to one of the lucky followers and subscribers that will watch my live episode on Instagram today. And to reveal what kind of plant I'm giving away, stay tuned at 12 noon on my Instagram account so that you can find out. And of course, the question that you need to answer for you to win that free plant. So anyway, this episode is all about creating a green space or a home oasis. Uh, especially now during the quarantine, it's very, very important that we create our own green space in our homes because there's nothing else to do and everybody is stuck at home. Everybody's forced to deal with the situations they have at home. And sometimes that can get really, really stressful and, and people get so anxious and it leads to all sorts of different problems. And I found that most people who consult me about renovating ideas and putting plants inside their homes have underlying problems. Uh, and those are the reasons why they want to introduce plants into their homes and maybe they, they need a little bit of pizzazz for that corner or they feel a little bit lonely and the plants provide companionship and of course it's pleasing to the eyes to see something really grow and flourish because of your caring hands and that alone in itself is very very rewarding and it can improve your general disposition whenever you feel down and depressed a growing plant is somewhat of an answer uh, for you to combat that kind of, of depression that you might be experiencing. So this uh, area is our master's bedroom. And as I've said in, in the intro, that I noticed that we don't use this master's bedroom because this room, as you can see in, in the video also, receives a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of light. And as early as 6 in the morning, it's so bright in here and you are forced to wake up at 7 or 8 because it gets really hot in this area. It's an eastern facing uh, main window which also uh, doubles as a balcony because there is a balcony space outside which I plan to put uh, outdoor plants that likes uh, um, a lot of bright direct light. So I, I plan to put coleus there and some... Uh, some outdoor ornamentals that I could propagate also on that balcony space but that will be for a later episode so anyway going back to the reason why I wanted to renovate this space the house generally doesn't have any any color when we created this uh this dream house that that I I planned for for so long and I saved for for so long and it's also my dream house I wanted it to be minimalist and uh, I want the air to flow through it and I want it to be an open layout. So there are not much walls, but the walls that do exist are either white or gray. So since I started uh, selling and, and being with plants all the time, green is a natural color choice for me. And I opted for a deeper green, sort of like, like a blackboard green, if you can call it. Because it it's... Uh, a great contrast for all the the wood that surrounds the house and of course the the shelves that i plan to to build in and for those of you who want to to do your own projects at home my suggestion is before you even add something to your space subtract something first most of us uh, become hoarders in time especially when now we are forced to deal not just with who, people who are in the house but with things and objects that we've accumulated through the years inside the house so it's the perfect time for you to scan your spaces uh, throw away things that you don't need donate some of the things that you don't use anymore or you haven't used but are lying around i notice a lot of clothes that were given to me by sponsors and and other stylists during my taping days are just in still in their packages and just lying around the house so I have decided to donate some of them, give them to some people that, that will make use of them, and then clean my 
the, my entire space before even putting something there and renovating it. So that's the first step you need to do is assess your space and make sure that it's clean, free of dust and other particles. And that is prepping. And renovation, the first and most important part of it is prepping the area and before you introduce color and paint and other decorations into that particular particular space that you want to spruce up, you have to make sure that it's ready to receive those items. So I sanded the walls again. We cleaned the glass sliding doors and the windows. We mopped the floors. We, sweep, we uh, swept underneath the furniture. We threw away some of the knickknacks that we didn't use and then i went to the to the hardware store to get some materials that i need uh, also part of prep is measuring and uh, you will know the amount of paint you will need if you know the square footage of the the area you are go about to cover so there is a a youtube post i just googled how much paint do i need and then i placed it placed it online and then it led me to a google page that that gave me a, a, a math equation to calculate how much paint I need. So I, I actually got more because I plan to do the, the third level in the following projects that I'm going to do and also one of uh, the rooms here in the second level with the same color but with a different style. But I probably have to introduce a little bit more of graphic or geometric art in that space with the same green so that it's a continuing theme inside the house. So again, uh, prep your area and that includes cleaning and, and sanding the walls and making sure that all the, the moldings and the, and the sockets are, are clean. Tape the walls also, yon, that's, that's very important. Tape the walls. So know when the edges stop, uh, where you want the colors to stop. And in my case, it's just one wall. So I, this white part of the wall, I taped it from top to bottom and then a little bit extra so that it doesn't go to the ceiling but still nagkamali pa rin ako nalagyan ko pa rin yung kisa may buti na lang may extra white plate paint at i i covered my mistake up and then i i taped also the the moldings the wood moldings on the base on the baseboard and then i removed the the cover for the sockets and removed all the appliances that surrounds it and all the cords i removed it and taped around it so that i won't paint over the the sockets so prep is one of the most important things. And then, of course, prior to all of that prep, you should know which design profile you want to emulate. And me having been an event stylist for, for eight years almost, I, I have my palettes in, in my, my database. And I, I am drawn to cool tones. Uh, some, somehow this season, I really love blues and greens. A little bit of warm tones introduced into that, some rust, some mustard, hence uh, the the wood finish in the shelves. So those those complementary colors go well together, and I plan the decor accordingly so that when I go to the hardware store, I know which items to get. It took me less than an hour to get everything I needed, and I set a budget for it, and I followed the budget, but you know being the hoarder that i am i went a little bit over budget because i got so many cute things like uh what did i get that i don't think i need but i need i need i don't need <laughs> some candles that i used when i was chilling last night some essential oils something like that and also got these cute ethnic uh tea light candle holders but i got the led ones because i don't want to burn the wood <laughs> And the house down <laughs> and I put some of them in there and I also got this uh, macrame anyway thank you to Malika macrame for providing me with most of my macrame items here at home thank you I will give a shout out to all of the suppliers that helped me uh, green my space a little bit and uh, beautify my home uh, later in my Instagram account, I would I would get into that in in much more detail. But for now, thank you for uh, this wonderful double planter macrame charot charot. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to put my phytonias here because there's a maarte. This room because it receives a lot of light and has better air circulation, so I think this will be a better environment for for them. I also got cash pose uh pots for for my zizi my raven. 
This is my raven, my baby black. Hey, baby black. Yeah, I don't want to remove her in her nursery pot just yet, so I got these with drainage holes at the bottom, so I just need to take them out and, and water them outside or put them in the rain once in a while and then put them back in this uh, cash bow. Okay, and what else did I get? Uh, I think that's it. I, I got a, a few more propagation bottles downstairs, but they're already in, in the nursery, and I'll show them to you in, in a different episode of, about propagation. But I stuck to my budget, and I, I didn't want to go over that because I wanted uh, people to be able to do the same thing with a limited budget. And I also found a lot of uh, unused items around the home, and I repurposed them like wood uh, for yeah this one. It, saguan talaga to. So ayan saguan talaga siya. But but the pattern on it is really nice and it and it mimics the pattern on on my candle holder. So I use that. It's actually broken, so I hid the broken part of the saguan uh, behind some plants. And I use them to to put a little bit of texture into the design. So yeah, you can do that. You can you can use old sewing machines with wood uh, countertops. You could use old plates with pretty ornaments, uh, ornamental designs on them. Uh, I have a lot of uh, Japan surplus plates that I use, and I plan to do uh, a separate cactus or bonsai video for that, so that I can reuse some items around the house. I also installed pala uh, uh, grow lights, if you can see, yeah on two sides of the shelf yeah one for the rap rapunzel ivy because i call her rapunzel because she's so long she's like four feet long and one one side with two directions for the for the plants at the bottom my birkin and my rosemary and this uh, snake plant over here and one for the aluminum plant and this elephant bush that i have because she's flowering very soon so i'm trying to to stimulate her growth a little bit more and I put some grow lights there and set it up for six to eight hours depending on the weather that day if they receive some sunlight so again another purpose why I renovated this room is because it's the rainy season again and this place is so pleasant during the rainy season and we wanted to stay here more often and chill here in the afternoon so when we transfer here from the guest room to the master's bedroom it's going to be a welcome space a welcoming space for the family to hang out in and and i really love uh hanging out with with my partner and my kid and since my kid is going off to college pretty soon i i want to spend a lot of time with him so that you know i can maximize this little time that i have uh now that he's all oh, grown up oh, you, could you imagine i have a an 18 year old oh my gosh i'm a lola plant lola by the way it's so pretty my shirt thank you to planties for giving me uh this shirt support local and support people that you know have rackets during this trying time thank you so much for sending me this hardinera shirt i really love it and they also gave me some other items i think i left it on the other pouches but i'll show them to you in my ig live later and thank you thank you so much to all the sellers and and all the online peeps the plant lovers that support my page and my channel thank you thank you so much okay going back at ah oh, so much so much things to say but prepping planning and then going to the hardware store sticking to a budget and then making a list of the things that you need and then painting the room so i painted the room with that color in mind but to my surprise in the first coat it didn't turn out the way i planned it so i was a bit disappointed but uh one of the helpers here in the village uh one of the kuyas Sabi ko, Kuya, if you're free, samahan mo, kutulungan mo naman ako. And then when he got here, I already finished the second coat. And he said, Ma'am, tama po yung ginagawa niyo kasi this type of paint needs three coats for that finish to to show itself. So, true enough, after the third coat, lumabas talaga yung actual color niya dun sa swatches na binigay sa akin ng Boysen. So, thank you again, Wilcon, Fairview, and Boysen for helping me find the perfect color that I need. It, by the way, it's called Mangrove and it's from Boysen. So, it's their new series. I think it's their Lux series. So, it, if you check out Boysen, just say Mangrove and it's also in the swatches that I showed in the video earlier. Okay, next. 
uh, after I painted the wall with its third coat, I thought it would take two hours for it to dry, but surprisingly, it just took 40, 30, 40 minutes, and then we started installing the shelves. So, uh, bumili ako ng bagong barena, as in talagang gusto kong matutong magkarpintero. Yun na yung next level natin na gagawin, magkakarpintero na tayo, guys. So, nagbarena ako, at sinubukan kong gawin for one shelf, pero baka madurog ko yung kamay ko at kailangan ko yung kamay ko para sa trabaho ko. So, sabi ko, kuya, pakitapos na lang po yung other four. But I tried! I tried my best! So, tinapos ni kuya, tapos dalawa kaming nagpaslak na itong lahat ng mga shelves na yan dito. So, again, because of my planning, I know the specific uh, locations of my shelves. I did the measurements and I also bought a label. So, yung label para siyang ruler na may tubig. Tapos may bubble yun. So, dapat, pag magagawa kayo ng shelves, meron kayo nun. Kasi hindi mo naman gusto na nakabit mo na nabarena mo na yung padre. Tapos hindi siya pantay. So, dapat yung label, ipapatong nyo sa center ng shelf at yung bubble niya nandun sa dalawang guhit. It's, it's exactly in the middle. So that you know that it's, uh, it's on, a, on the same level as the ground. So, you won't have an askew shelf. So, basically, that's it. And then, all the measurements of the artwork plus the plants, I took also into consideration so that when I put them in, I wouldn't have any problems. Oh, my God, my plant doesn't fit. Who among you has shelves that don't fit your plants and knock down shelves because it has to fit your plants? So, syempre, priority ang halaman. Dapat magkasya sila. Kaya ayan, uh, you have to measure everything properly so that it fits your exact requirements. So if you're, you're going to put books there, plants, decorations, measure your decorations as well so that it fits your space properly. And then after that, I just arranged everything and enjoyed it. So that's it. Basically, I, I wanted something that I could do by myself. No, technically not by myself. Kasi talaga, but uh, this project, uh, the intent of this project is to show everybody that although it can be intimidating at first and although it can be a daunting task to, to do carpentry work and paint work and woodwork all on your own, nothing is impossible. And... Uh, much to my surprise as a person that that doesn't do carpentry work buti na lang nakinig ako sa praka arts no ako ay bata pa at medyo may alam na matay kahit papaano pero kailangan niyo pa rin po ng expert kaya yung mga kuya ng Wilcon salamat po sa pagtulong niyo sa akin kay kuya dito sa village salamat po sa paghelp niyo sa anak ko kay kaya kasi siya yung nagtape ng ng mga pader salamat kaya kasi matangkad ka thank you so, don't be afraid to, you know, go out of your comfort zone because really that's what being a gardener and a homebody is all about. Now that you have plenty of time and you have a lot of, of uh, free hours at your disposal, why not make use of that time to improve on yourself and gain a new skill? And to me, this is something, uh, a bit of an uncharted territory for me and I'm I'm so blessed that... I have the luxury of time now to explore this and normally I would just be stuck in a studio taping which I don't complain about because I'm really so grateful for all the, the production houses that give me work but this is a different ball game for me and I am enjoying my time at home and whenever I'm here I'm with my cats with my son my my partner and my plants I feel at peace and and much like yoga and and other things that I enjoy doing. I think uh, making the home a better space for my family is uh, equally as rewarding as all those other activities. So I hope this video helps. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just click the link. Better share. <laughs> click the subscribe button and, and follow me for my next few episodes. And I intend to. Uh, do more plant and food and wellness related posts in the next few episodes that I'm going to do. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Follow me on my personal page at Tuesday underscore V. Follow me for my food page at Choose to Go. And follow me for my plants page 
at choose to grow. Thank you so much. Namaste, everyone. Namaste, cool. Namaste, healthy. Namaste, green, because green is in. Thank you. Bye. Choose to grow.